Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. CNN accuses Sean Hannity of coordinating attack against the FBI. There have been multiple bombshell reports showing that Robert Mueller's special counsel against President Trump is incredibly biased. However, according to CNN, it is not okay for Trump or Fox News to point this out. Democratic Representative Jim Himes went on to CNN and declared that Trump, Fox News, and Sean Hannity are a part of a coordinated attack against the FBI. Whether there is a hotline between the Oval Office and Fox News, I doubt that's true, but when the president is talking about the investigation and makes it very clear he wants them over and uses the words, do something, people who will sell their souls, who will trade their integrity, who will betray their positions of trust in favor of supporting this man, why you choose to do that I do not know, will do precisely that, said Himes. People like Sean Hannity, who are throwing mud on the FBI, Janine Pirro, some of my colleagues, said Himes. Can you imagine if Barack Obama had attacked the FBI, the protests in the streets we would have seen, the indictments, the investigations? Claimed Himes. When you're attacking the mechanism of justice of the United States of America, you are setting this country up for a place where no facts are true or false. Anybody can get away with any behavior at all and we will have something that does not look in any way shape or form like the democracy that has been such a gift to all of us for a long period of time," said Himes. MSNBC host says her calling Trump a bully and worse isn't an opinion. Left-wing media outlets like CNN and MSNBC love to try to criticize Fox News claiming that Fox's programming is far too reliant on opinions and not straight facts. Of course, the liberal news coverage is even more based on opinions, but they have the gall to call their opinions facts. This was shown recently when MSNBC was covering President Trump's speech to the FBI National Academy. Reporter Peter Alexander trying to drum up some controversy by stating about the president, what do you say when you're speaking to that community that's under attack? We look forward to hearing that. Obviously he's gone after all these different groups. Oftentimes not afraid to say it to their face. What does he say on camera? We'll be watching. Replied Stephanie Rule, delivering what is entirely an opinion, I mean, Peter, you know the answer. President Trump, and I'm not speaking dash this isn't an opinion, if you look at his pattern, he has a pattern of bully behavior. What he says when they're not in the room. He goes after them super hard. And then when he walks in, it's hugs and kisses. Despite denying that they were saying opinions, they carried on, with Tim O'Brien commenting, You know why he does it, right? He's a demagogue. This is classic demagoguery. He is trying to convince people watching him on TV that he's the only one who should be believed. Then Stephanie tried to smear Trump's entire staff with her opinions, remarking, Okay. But the demagogue isn't living in the castle alone. He is surrounded by senior advisors. And take Kellyanne Conway and Sarah Huckabee Sanders who have made it clear Sean Spicer style they're there at the pleasure to serve, to please the president. Do you think it's ridiculous that MSNBC called Trump a bully and then claimed that it is not an opinion? Benghazi hero crushes Eric Holder with brutal singer for telling GOP it's not okay to attack Mueller. Obama's former Attorney General Eric Holder decided to speak on behalf of the vast majority of the American people and say that it is not okay to criticize Robert Mueller. There have been multiple scandals proving that his special counsel is very biased against Trump. Liberals don't want you to have the right to talk about it, though. Speaking on behalf of the vast majority of the American people, Republicans in Congress be forewarned, any attempt to remove Bob Mueller will not be tolerated. These are BS attacks on him, his staff that are blatantly political designed to hide the real wrongdoing. 
country not party, tweeted Holder. Benghazi hero Chris Parento had the perfect response. Weren't you the only attorney general in U.S. history to be held in contempt of Congress? And you don't speak for me or the vast majority of the American people you pos. Get back in your whole rat. Hashtag fast and furious hashtag corrupt hashtag liar tweeted Barinto. His brilliant response got thousands of likes and shares. Trey Gowdy also agrees that there is something fishy going on. This is a really bad fact pattern, said Gowdy. I'm still trying to figure out why three FBI agents are discussing politics in the deputy director's office, because you're not supposed to discuss politics on federal ground and FBI agents aren't supposed to engage in politics for Hatch Act reasons, he said. Sally Khan asks audience to only vote for black women, she immediately gets crushed. Many people accused Hillary supporters of just voting for her because she is a woman. They used to deny this attack, however, more and more, liberals are able to admit that they would vote for someone just because of their gender or race. CNN's Sally Khan posted a tweet for her audience asking them to vote for black women. The Brilliant at Larvey has compiled a list of all the black women running for elected office in the United States right now, with links to ways you can support them," tweeted Khan. The website urges you to vote for the women because they are black. It is important that we start following the lead of black women, and it is more and more clear why. I went looking for a database of black women running for office and there doesn't seem to be a comprehensive one yet," said the website. The website then urges you to vote for them. Donate, support and vote for black women. It says. Conservative commentator Ben Shapiro replied to Cohn's tweet, comparing her way of thinking to white nationalist Richard Spencer. Pretty sure Richard Spencer could supply you a list of all the white men, too, so you can vote based on immutable characteristics rather than qualifications, tweeted Ben Shapiro. Watch MSNBC's Joy Reid admits she hates law enforcement, except for when they investigate Trump. MSNBC's Joy Reid attacked Republicans for claiming to love the police, while simultaneously being able to critique the FBI for their anti-Trump bias. Even though it doesn't sound remotely contradictory, Reid believes this makes Republicans hypocrites. You know, to go back to Mueller for just a second, Jill, is that you have this sort of coordinated campaign not just against the FBI dash and it's extraordinary to hear Republicans who are angry that NFL players are kneeling in response to law enforcement killing black men, women and children, and who claim that Black Lives Matter hates the police, started Reid. Attacking, actively attacking, the FBI and law enforcement and Bob Mueller who is decorated Navy veteran, Vietnam, and probably the most respected FBI director in, you know, U.S. history. Anyway, hearing the way that they are attacking him is extraordinary," she said. Reid is not a fan of the police herself. Here are some of her tweets from October 31st. Black people's wariness of police hinges on that cue, whether this person wielding life and death authority thinks black life has any value," she tweeted. Even the most mundane traffic stop involves an internal weighing of that question, does this person see me as inherently human or dangerous? Does this officer privately ridicule or detest people like me? Will he treat me respectfully like a citizen or threaten me just BC he can?" tweeted Reid. Hillary accuses GOP of flaming the flames of white supremacy because of tax cuts. During an interview with Ellen DeGeneres she accused President Trump's tax cuts of flaming the flames of white supremacy. It's disturbing, and it's obviously upsetting to me because I see things happening around the world that are bad for our country that are dangerous that really pose a threat. And then I see all this happening inside our country when they push through this tax plan, it's going to hurt so many people, claimed Hillary. Look, it's going to help a lot of really rich people who they care about, that's who their donors are, 
but it's going to hurt. I mean can you imagine taking away the deduction for a teacher who buys supplies for their classrooms? I mean who thinks like that? Said Hillary. And so there is a lot that is going to end up hurting people and then obviously flaming the flames of white supremacy and misogyny and homophobia and everything else that is unfortunately at work, she said. Really? The tax plan will do that? That's one crazy tax plan. So I think there will be an, the investigation will go on, and that will lead where it leads. But at some point, Republicans who control the Congress have to say, you know, we don't want this to go on, we have to investigate. Or we have to win back the House and Senate next November, which is something I hope we do, and then we can get back to doing the people's business, said Hillary.